We're looking at textiles and we're looking at healthcare and we're going to look at three different areas of, of healthcare. Hygiene, infection control and comfort, staying healthy and independent living and mobility, social connectivity and sensory stimulation and it's the crossover areas that are probably going to be the most interesting but we find this out. And also exciting about this. Um, so, we so it could be actually not just infection, infection control, but it also could be basic survival. Yes, yes, yes. 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 Yeah. Yeah. And also, when we talk about the elderly, elderly people, we're thinking about carrying other people's body. They're all quite hard materials, and so we thought maybe an there's an opportunity for us in a textile workshop. And um, we thought about. Um, how the, the environment could um, sense and react to the patient. The project is titled um, The Interchangeable Cushion System. What we've created basically is an interchangeable system in the form of a cushion with the elderly user in mind. This is our team, we call it Carry Carry. So we step into the prototype three. We call it rolling plus sliding plus rolling. Our concept is about um, emergency situations and natural disaster. At the end, we developed a product called Put to Pocket. It's a portable, flexible, rehydrating emergency blanket system. Intelligent textiles for me is not just about smart materials, but it is also about using the stuff that we already have in ways that perhaps we haven't thought of before. And there is so much more to discover about the things that we think we know let alone the new materials that we don't know. And in combination, used imaginatively and used in inquisitive and exploring the, these avenues, the potential is vast. Chilimen as a fabric in all its variations is a really intelligent fabric. However, the market for Chilimen is declining. We started thinking about how could we re-engineer uh, Chilimen to make it suitable for the extreme functional requirements uh, of the healthcare market. At the start of the project, I sought the um, advice of the Biobased Materials Act kit. We realised that silk on its own is not uh, durable enough for the healthcare market. And I wanted to find a durable yarn that I could weave with the silk um, in order to create a more durable fabric that would be suitable for the healthcare market. Through further research, I found PTT. Um, PTT is basically from corn. It's a biobased material in part from renewable materials. It initially starts off as uh, it could be as pellet, and um, it then is made up into a yarn. The PTT is very durable. It has um, inherent stretch with the recovery. Um, it can be washed and laundered multiple times. It's ultraviolet resistance. <laughs> something like this but the water can go down. So that's why no. it doesn't taste like the one that's here. Okay. 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 And that means that this layer behind is silk, mm -hmm. and the layer on top is PTT. It's a that it's a... During our um, testing, we realised that simply by varying the yarn uh, ratio, for instance, the amount of PTT to silk, they, this opened up the different uh, possibilities for um, various scenarios 
For instance, the, the fabric could be used for a hospital gown. It could also be used for a Japanese harimaki, simply by changing the, the yarn ratio. Our, the fabric which we created was a 70% silk to 30% PTT, um, but when you change that ratio, um, you realise that the fabric becomes much more elasticated and of course could be used for different items.